Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to track sales in your HubSpot CRM system. So once you log into HubSpot CRM of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to track deals or sales what you first need to do is go to the sales tab up the top left hand corner here using the drop down menu and then go to deals. Now as you can see here we have our deal stages and uh, this is a test one I did earlier for another video and that video demonstrated how to change the deal stages so feel free to have a look at that if you so wish but anyway as we are tracking deals what we need to do is firstly create a deal so a deal is essentially a sale or a sale that the business is doing and we want to track it through the different stages so to do so we need to go to the top right hand corner where it says create deal and just press that button now as you can see here we now need to give our deal some information so we need to give the deal a name. I'm just going to call this test deal. But obviously give it an applicable name, maybe the name of the business, for example, that you're doing the deal for or something along those lines. We then need to select the sales pipeline. If you've got multiple sales pipelines because you're using a paid version of CR, uh, HubSpot CRM, then this is the option. But um, unfortunately, this is the free version of HubSpot. So I've just got the one. So I'll select that one and then we can select the deal stage. Now it's advised and it is by default set to the first stage of the deal process. However, if you're late to the party and you're adding this deal in a little bit late, you can jump ahead and add the deal at a different point. We then need to set the amount that the deal is for. Now, of course, we never know for sure how much it is, but obviously put in an estimate. So I'm just going to put 10,000 and then we need to define the close date. So the date that the um, that the deal is going to be closing or hope to be closing for. Uh, to change that, I just need to select it and then we just need to select the date accordingly. And then the deal owner, you can assign someone else from the system or another user from the system to the deal or automatically it's set as yourself. You can also set the deal type, whether it's either new business or existing business, the priority of the deal, whether it's high, medium or low. We can then associate a company with, um, with the deal, a contact with the deal, and if we've got products as well that have been set up in the HubSpot system, we can also add those to our deal as well. And once you've done all of these things, just press the create button, and that will then create our new deal. And this is where we wanna be logging all the notes, the emails, the calls, um, logs, tasks, and meetings, um, for the, uh, at all associated with this particular deal. And this is where you can keep track of all this information and other users in the HubSpot system can also come back to this particular deal and see all the information that's going on with the deal. So a really useful, really great way of tracking all the key information so nothing gets missed amongst your team, especially your sales team. So as you can see here, I've demonstrated all that. In order to add notes and emails, etc., you just need to click these particular buttons and then to see them, just go to activities and notes, emails, using the tabs along the top here. You can see the about this, de about this deal information. So deal type, news business, we'll set the priority to medium. Like I showed you when we created it initially, I just hadn't assigned it. Just press the save button to update any information. And then I'll show you how to move these stages across. So we've got two options when it comes to moving deal stages. We can either do it inside of the record and it says stage on the left hand side here and currently it's at qualified to buy and then we can move it along um, by using the drop down menu and then selecting accordingly or if we go to the top left hand corner and back out of this particular deal to see all our deals on the different stages we've also got a really useful tool where we can just drag and then simply drop onto the relevant stages so if i drag it and go to decision maker bought in then you know, this will be updated accordingly. Um, and that is a, a really good way of managing your sales and quickly and effectively managing them. Now, if you wanna go back into the deal, and um, what you need to do is press on that specific record, like I have just done here, and then go to the view record button in the bottom right hand corner, or you can do a number of different things from this little side menu here, but I always re recommend going back into the view record button and then doing what you need to do. And that is a brief overview of how to track deals or sales in your HubSpot CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to track sales in your HubSpot CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. 
Thank you and goodbye.